We got a great officiating crew tonight, I can tell. Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. I had the headsets off with the Star Spangled Bell. Okay. Cold. Okay. That'll be fine. Hello, Tiger Nation. Welcome back to the HP Arena starting lineups for Jackson State. T line bowler. Uh, Excuse me, that's Amisha Williams, a 6'4 junior out of Gulfport, Mississippi, averaging 15.2 points per game. Kishana Luckett, a 5'6 sophomore out of Jackson, Mississippi. Janiah Talley, a 5'4 senior out of Ashland, Mississippi. Deja Rogan, a 5'4 senior out of Ripley, Mississippi. And Sherelle Jones, a 6'0 senior out of Memphis, Tennessee. Let's meet the starting five for the Lady Tigers of Texas Southern, Tierra. Hambrick, a 5'8 junior out of LaRue, Texas. Also, Janae Borquez, a 5'8 junior out of Phoenix, Arizona. Also, Tamara White, a 5'4 junior out of Atlanta, Georgia. Namiko Playground Adams, a 5'8 senior out of Sacramento, California. And last but not least, the Lady Tiger in the middle, Ryan Lewis. The 6'3 redshirt sophomore out of Denver, Colorado, averaging 3.3 points per game and 4.5 rebounds per game. She's growing right up in front of our eyes. Texas Southern led by head coach Cynthia Cooper Dyke, assistant coaches Carlos Wilson, Lulu McKinney, and Alexis Lloyd. Lady Tigers take the floor today with an overall record of 2-2 two and two and a comp squack record of 1-1. One and one. Tough loss to Grambling State the other day, 68-47. Had some ball handling issues. Let's hope we get that corrected. And here we go, Amisha Williams. And Lewis jumping it up. Lewis gave up the tip. Tally with the basketball, top right side of the floor. Picks up the dribble, swings it around to the left side. Right to left on your computer monitor or your radio. Right side of the floor, cross court pass. Basketball is almost stolen. Three point attempt by Tally. Offline rebound by Hambrick. Hambrick with the basketball to White. White with it now across the timeline. Back to Boroquez. Boroquez with the basketball. Dribbling with the right hand, back to White. White looks to dribble, knifing inside. Back to Hambrick, Hambrick, Borquez. Borquez, short jumper, blocked by Williams. Going the other direction, Texas Southern. Zero, Jackson State zero. Right side of the floor. Back to Tally, Tally with the basketball. Back to Rogan, Rogan with it now. On the dribble is Jones, shot is up and a whistle is blown. Third trip down the floor, one foul already. And give that foul to Lewis, that's her first one. Yeah, she was a little late getting up to the top of the key to defend. And um, Jack State player just went right around her for an easy layup. Like we got a foul here, so she got to do a better job as the game progresses. Um, being able to run out and stop and get into a defensive position. No knee bending this time. She has that brace on her left. On her left knee, Texas Southern, zero. Jackson State, zero, thank goodness. Now she bends the knee. Awkward release, she'll miss that one as well. Williams with a rebound for two. Texas Southern, two. Jackson State, two, Texas Southern, zero. Adams with the basketball, with a runner. Misses it, going the other way. Tally with the basketball now. Tally for Jackson State, long pass. Cheryl Jones barreling inside. And a charging foul is taken by Boroquez. First personal foul. First team foul for Jackson State. Checking into the basketball game is Brittany Gabriel, the junior out of Spring Valley, New York. 
juice I saw on the way coming into the gym. And I said, you're going to make me pull my hair out. She said, why? I said, missing those layups. <laughs> exactly. She said, I'll leave you some. Right. And a foul is called. Give that foul to... Give that foul to Tamara White. That's a first personal foul, second team foul. Texas Southern trailing two to zero, eight minutes and 25 seconds remaining in the first quarter of play. Also to let you know, we are the home radio. We are the home team radio for Texas Southern University. I can't give Jackson State anything they ain't supposed to get. That's my good friend Rob Jay's job. Oh, yeah. Williams with the basketball. Loses it. Boral Quest can't handle it. Back to Luckett. Luckett with the basketball. Back to Tally, the senior out of Ashland, Mississippi. 3-0 is your score. Tally still dribbling the basketball. Back to Luckett. Shot is up. Offline. Rebound by Gabriel. Hambrick on the push. Long pass to Limbrick. Limbrick. Back to Hambrick. Pump fakes it. Back to Boral Quest. Inside! to Gabriel for the two. Great recognition. Um, called Jackson State sleeping. Uh, passed the ball around. Wide open layup. Great job by Gabriel. Man, just to think that little pep talk goes a long way, Adams. <laughs> Absolutely. Three to two is your score. Basketball stolen by Playground Adams. Namiko Adams on the push. Adams with the basketball. Back to Boroquez. Boroquez with it now. Boral Quest, top of the key, takes it to the right side of the floor. Back to Hambrick, picks up the dribble. Back to Limbrick. Limbrick. Back to Gabriel. Gabriel, back to Boral Quest. She gambles. Boral Quest loses it. She was dived like she was going towards the pylon on yesterday. Yeah, very dangerous play, though. Very dangerous. Uh, I've, yeah, seen a few, I, go ahead. I've seen a few of those result in some teeth coming missing. Mm. Yeah, very dangerous. They're not going to let Skibo get the sweat off the floor. That's how intense this is. <laughs> Seven seconds remaining. Boral Quez trying to inbound the basketball. Gets it to Hambrick. Shot clock running. Four seconds. Three, two. Limbrick for the long ball. Off line. Can't get it to go down. Jackson State with the basketball. Texas Southern trailing three to two. Hello to Tramel Jeffers. Back at the Tiger Studio. Nice and warm in there, right side of the floor. Texas Southern down by one, inside to Williams. Williams upstairs. Oh my goodness, you call that a foul? She waited until she missed it. How can you do that on today of all days? Yeah, tough call. Oh my goodness, she must need some holiday work. Tough call. Oh boy. Right out of the gate. But hopefully we can get those same calls on our end too though. We didn't get them the other day. We didn't. It's a new day, though. Let's, let's give them a chance. Texas Southern trailing 4-2. to two. Six minutes and 45 seconds remaining. Williams at the charity stripe. Williams, 75%. You can take her to the carnival and win a teddy bear. 5-2 <laughs> to is your score. Right side of the floor. Back to Limbrick. Hambrick with it. Now she falls. She falls to the ground. So, you know, what the referees do a lot of times is they'll let the play continue on. If she wouldn't have fallen, then she wouldn't have called that foul. But since, the, since she went down, they had to make a call there. Texas Southern shot is up by Gable. It's blocked. Going the other direction. Yeah, Williams for Jackson, 6'4", uh, out of Gulfport, Mississippi. Uh, she's pretty much controlling the paint right now. Oh, yes. Lindbergh with the basketball, 17 seconds. On the shot clock. Basketball almost stolen. Texas Southern will have it with 11 seconds. And Texas Southern's got to be very careful about how they control this basketball. They do. They do. They do. Uh, Hopefully we learn our lesson from the last game and then we're going to be able to control the tempo and not force a lot of bad shots because that gives the other team opportunity to get out and start running. And we don't want Jackson State to get out. Eight seconds. Make it five now. Four, three, two. Boraquez. Shot clock violation. Another turnover for Texas Southern. 
five to two. Six minutes and 14 seconds remaining, and Coach Cooper takes a seat. Texas Southern trailing by three. Janaya Talley with the basketball across the timeline. Back to Luckett. Luckett with it now. Inside to Williams. Williams shot it up for two. Nice turnaround jumper there on the baseline. Five points for her. Hello to Bert Simmons checking out the broadcast. Ballquez upstairs misses it. Nothing but Jackson State players as Alexis Payton gets the rebound. Yeah, Cable's the only one in, under the board trying to rebound. Seven to five is your score. Texas Southern down by five. Seven to two. Five point cushion. Lucky with the basketball. Inside, bagging it into Williams. Off the window for two. Yep, she's going to have to get around in front, uh, Williams, for Jackson State. She can't let her just sit there in the lane up under the basket and turn around and make those easy turnaround. Hambrick with the basketball. Hambrick. Back to Borroquez. 16 seconds on the shot clock. 12 seconds. Lembrick for three. Offline. Rebound by Tally. Tally on the push. Four minutes and 51 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Texas Southern trailing nine to two. Shot is up. Offline. Adams can't grab it. Another opportunity for Williams. Too much butter on the road as the ball slipped away from Adams. Yeah, she, she's very active. Um, again, Jackson State is able to keep, get their hands on the ball, tipping it around to themselves, and good things come to those who make those opportunities happen. Timeout taken. Texas Southern trailing 11 to 2. We'll take a pause for the cause. We'll be right back. Hello, Tiger Nation. This is Kevin Granger. I would like to personally invite you to come out and join the newly established TSU Athletic Directors Legends Club. Members of the TSU AD Legends Club will receive TSU Athletic Apparel, a championship ring from a select sport when applicable, season tickets for football, basketball, and the TSU relays, special recognition at a home athletic event, and much more. To join or for more information, visit tsusports.com or call 713-313-4355. And as always, go Tiger! Let's go, Tiger up. Hello, Tiger Nation, welcome back. Texas Southern trailing 11 to two. Lindbergh with the basketball. Lindbergh dribbling, takes the three-pointer. Offline, rebound by Peyton. Boy, Jackson State putting on a rebound, rebounding clinic. They are, but if you notice, we only have one one Lady Tiger down low trying to rebound. 11 to 2. Shot is up by Covington, and it goes. 13 to 2. Adams inside. Lewis for the finish, and it doesn't go. Why, I wonder why she didn't shoot it. She was on the other side of the basket. Yeah, that's her go to pad move, though. But you don't go to <laughs> yeah, I, I someone that's, that's that is on true. that side. Yes, sir. That is correct. Back to Womack. Basketball stolen by Limbrick. Limbrick with the basketball. Limbrick on the push. Upstairs. No go. Another missed layup. 13 to 2 with three minutes and change remaining.
Shot is up offline, and Texas Southern will have the basketball. Thirteen to two. Three minutes and four seconds remaining. First quarter. White with the basketball. Long pass. She needed a ladder to get that one. Yep. And Coach Cooper going to the bench. You know, we're just making a lot of unforced turnovers right now. There's nothing that Jackson State is doing. I mean, we're having trouble just passing the ball from point A to point B and creating all these turnovers. And Jackson has been really good in coming down, getting what they pretty much want. If they don't make the shot, they're getting a the rebound, they're putting it back, and they're playing pretty well right now. Hello to Tanya Michelle Short and Calhoun. She's checked in, Queen B. Happy MLK Day to you. Back to Jones with the basketball. Jones with it. Right side of the floor. 13 to two, going inside. Covington misses it. Jackson State gets the rebound. It will stay here. Eight rebounds for Jackson State, two rebounds for Texas Southern. No free throw attempts for the maroon and gray. Jackson State, three of six from the free throw line. Both teams have not made a three-pointer yet. Covington for two. Four points for Covington. Hambrick for three. Offline. Rebound. Going the other way. Lucky with the basketball. Lucky. Womack upstairs. A spalling sandwich by Lewis. Oh my goodness. A spalling sandwich. No salt, no pepper. And Lewis did a great job in making her eat it. Take that back to Jackson. I think that was a double, actually. You could take that to the Too far. to the Senate and give it to <laughs> Sally Norwood. <laughs> Put that right on his desk. <laughs> yes. Right side of the floor, Borquez with it. Borquez inside to Lewis. Nice pass. Million dollar pass, but a two dollar shot. Fifteen to two is your score. A minute and forty seconds remaining. Check the Southern trailing, fifteen to two. Bowler with it, going upstairs, off line. Bowler gets on rebound, goes up strong, misses it. Jones with it, it's a tie up. And Jackson State will have the basketball. They didn't come today. Mr. And Mrs. Odell Wilkins, they took the day off. Yeah. MLK day. Yeah. yeah. Hello to Mr. and Mrs. Odell Wilkins at home. Checking out the broadcast. 15 to two is your score. Borquez, Euro move. Traveling violation is called. Man. Fifteen to two, less than a minute remaining. First quarter, shot is up by Bowler. Counted by Bowler. Everything is going right for the Jackson State Tigers tonight. Seventeen to two, thirty-nine seconds remaining in the first quarter. Hambrick for the three ball, offline, inside. Sky Green for two. Hey, that's a highlight. Great job by Green. Yes, to get her hand on that ball and then actually put it in. We needed that one. Yes, we did. Need that one like a cat needed milk. 17 to 4. Inside. Womack again misses it. Jones for two. That was three offensive rebounds in a row for Jackson. 
And that's the end of the first quarter. Texas Southern trailing 19 to four. That's right. You heard it, 19 to four. We'll be right back with second quarter action. This is Texas Southern fighting Lady Tiger basketball. I'm not the type to say any of this mushy garbage. You know what? I'm going for it. You are completely and utterly awesome. I'm glad you showed up. In my life. I think I'm about to cry. You better not. Every single time I get down. You always have my back. My back. It's really hard to describe. It's like all these tiny little things. Yes, yes, things. Are actually friendship. Tiger up. Yes, sir. Hello, Tiger Nation. Welcome back. Jackson State coverage and shoots the basketball offline. Womack gets the rebound. Williams gets the rebound, and it's an end one. You have got to be kidding me. Yeah, we're not able to get any rebounds tonight. It's going to be a long night for the Lady Tigers. Give that foul to Sky Green. That's her fourth. I mean, that's the fourth team foul. And the end one is complete. Ten points for Williams. 22 to four. Hamburg with the basketball. Back to Barquez. Back to Hambrick. Hambrick shoots the jumper. Offline. Oh boy. Long pass to Tally. Going upstairs and a charging foul is called on Rogan. Second personal foul for Rogan. 22 to 4 is your score. Wow. Shot is up, count to two by Limbrick. Hello to Gary Bradshaw, checking out the broadcast. And another basket. They're pouring it on. 24 to 6. Eight minutes and change remaining. Second quarter. 24 to 6. Jackson State with the lead. Boraquez with the basketball. Inside. Ball knocked away from Green. Boraquez can't get it back. And Texas Southern will have the basketball. Jackson State upset that they didn't get that basketball. You live and learn. 24 to 6. Seven, six, five on the shot clock. Boracquez, short jumper off the window for two. Good execution there. High screen and roll from the top of the key. She went to the left and got an easy two points off the backboard. Really nice play. That's her first two of the night. 24 to 8. I sent you a text message, Mr. Allen. Three-point attempt. Back to Covington. 18 rebounds for Jackson State. 
27 to 8. Hamburg with the basketball. Inside the green. Lewis, short jumper. Didn't catch anything. Going the other way. But, you know, just because we pass it to you, that doesn't mean you have to shoot it. So, you know, we, we have, we know what our limitations are. And so I think we probably did better with passing that one back around. Right side of the floor, back to Tally. Shot is up by Bowler. Williams, power dribble. Shot is up. Misses everything. Hamburg with the basketball behind the back. Hamburg on the push. Limbrick, pump fakes. Limbrick inside and she's fouled. You know what? This is a little spark plug out of Sugar Land that yeah, I like. It is. I like her too. A little spark plug out of Sugar Land. Yeah, she's giving us something right now. Something that we did not have for the first 13 minutes. We got introduced to her on yesterday. I mean on Monday. Saturday. <laughs> when she played against Gramlich State, put in had some good minutes. Texas Southern trailing 27 to 8 with 7 minutes and 18 seconds. Knees bent. Offline. Jackson State can't handle it going the other way. 27 to 8. Seven minutes and 15 seconds. We need some Tiger power, mm -hmm. and we need it now. Lewis with the basketball. Looking for someone to give it to. Finally gets it to Limbrick. Limbrick dribbling. Pick set. Limbrick. Back to Hambrick. Back to Green. Green's going to shoot that three. Offline. But if you notice, we're so stagnant on offense. We pass the ball and we're just standing around looking at each other. There's no one cutting. We're not moving. Uh, I don't know what we're doing right now. 27 to 8. Right side of the floor. Tally with it. Three-pointer Covington. No go. Lewis with the rebound. Boraquez with the basketball across the timeline. Boraquez slows it up, waits for Green. Green. Muscles inside, and a foul is called, and Green hits the ground. That was a flagrant seven, but they're not going to give it to me. I know it. I know this crew. Hello to Charles Bishop. And the Bishop breakdown. You'll be ready for... Hello to little Tony Washington, checking out the broadcast, part of that vaunted Texas Southern cheer squad. Dad's name is Tony Washington, we sit uh, over by where the weight benches are. Mm. Good friends with Mike Davis. Now the Chili's are in the stands. Everyone's spreading out here. Everyone. 27 to 8, 6 minutes and 14 seconds and counting down. Texas Southern on the wrong side of the scoreboard. Yeah, you're right, Julie Askew. We need Tiger Power. We need it now. Coming to with the basketball. Inside to Williams. Bowler with a rebound. I've seen this movie. Bowler. Inside three-point attempt. Payton. Offline. Bowler with a rebound. Lewis can't grab it. And Texas Southern will have the basketball. Oh my goodness. The ups and downs and the downs and ups yeah. of HBCU swag basketball. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised though if, if Coach Cooper comes out with a zone defense the next time. Kind of train, change up some things because Jackson is just getting everything they want. Every time they shoot the ball, they're getting two or three opportunities to rebound, offensive rebounds and putbacks. Hamburg with the basketball back to Limburg. Limburg with it now. Limbrick, dribbling. Hambrick shoots the three. Boy, she is ice cold. Yeah, she's been off since Prairie View. Uh, hadn't made a final game just yet. 27 to 8. Five minutes remaining in the second quarter. 
Covington with the basketball, dribbling with the right hand. Covington going to the 10, misses with the left hand, and Texas Southern will have the basketball. Boracoez comes out, receiving instructions from Coach Carlos Wilson. These Lady Tigers are fighting. Mm. Limbrick with the basketball. Limbrick shoots the jumper. Can it? Great job by Limbrick. Four points for her. Texas Southern trailing Jackson State 27 to 10. Going inside. And a whistle is blown. Wow. Yes, baby. Tiger up. Mm. Hello, Tiger Nation. Welcome back. Texas Southern trailing 29 to 10. Adams with the basketball. Back to Limbrick. Limbrick back to Adams. Adams dribbling the basketball. Hambrick for three. Offline. Boy, she can't hit the side of a barn. Going the other way. She's trying, but when she's on, she's going to get on. Callie with the basketball. Callie dribbling with that right hand. Shot it up. Count it. Thirty-one to ten. With three minutes remaining in the second quarter. And Williams has 15 points and 13 rebounds already for Jackson State. Green with the basketball. Back to Limbrick. Jackson State 31, Texas Southern 10. Three seconds. Step back for Limbrick. Off line. Adams with the rebound. Limbrick shoots it again for two. Six points for her. I like her play. Yeah, she's spunky. 31 to 12. Lady Tigers cutting it in this lead like a dull butter knife, slowly but surely. Williams for three. Adams with the basketball. Adams. Playground time upstairs. Misses it. Green can't handle it. And it's going the other way. I got I like, but you gotta like the aggression of Adams as she chose to take it straight to the basket. I like the aggression. 
It's just a shot. Right. Yeah. It's um so in practice you practice these things. You know, you, you, you simulate game action and what you're gonna do in terms of when you get in the lane, if you get bumped and the types of shots that you're gonna shoot. And so I think what you do in practice should be what carry out what you do in the game. So you right. Sh you shouldn't try anything in the game that you hadn't tried in practice. That'll get you on the bench. Very fast. Pulled. Very fast. Three point attempt, luck it. And a foul is called and Green's on the ground. Give that, give that foul to Ashley Williams. That's her second Chipping away, they're chipping away. They're getting some, some what they call second chance transition points. They're pushing it down, they're trapping, they get out of the trap, and then they're going to attack right away. That's our wonderful support staff bringing us some water here. Took care of me today, man, give me a nice chair. And uh, it's right. the person. You look presidential tonight. Thank you, I appreciate it. Here. I'm 31 to 13, they take care of me around here. You'll be coming back. Denia Talley with the basketball. 31 to 13. Inside the bowler, bowler upstairs, misses it. Adams with the rebound. Adams on the push. Adams back to Linda. Long pass, White for the three ball. Off line, Green can't handle it. Right there, she took her eyes off her. Yeah. Got the shot they wanted, just didn't put it down. 31-13 is your score. Jackson State 31, Texas Southern 13. Two minutes and change remaining in the first half. Nothing for the basket, all dribbling with the left hand. Thirty-one thirteen. Two minutes and three seconds remaining. And back on to the court is Ryan Lewis. Yeah, but I'm still not sure why the Lady Tigers are pushing up on the defensive end. When, when Jackson State has the ball out of the three-point line because they hadn't hit any three-point shots tonight. So you kind of tend to kind of play off of them a little bit because you know they're going to dribble drive penetration. Adams to the basketball. Back to Lindbergh. Lindbergh, nice pass to Green. Brittany Gable upstairs for two. Four points for Brittany Gable. 32 to 15. That's an unbelievable call. I don't know where she got that one from. Foul number 11, two white. Yeah, but I think white is a little upset with Gabriel because that was uh, her man that set that hard pick up top and she was supposed to be yelling telling her hey watch here's come the, here comes the screen here comes the pick and she didn't do that and white kind of got banged up on that play Back to Lindbergh, Lindbergh. 
Back to Adams. Adams on the push. Adams, zero move, misses it. Big rebound. And she threw it out of bounds almost. She recovered. Ten, Ralph. Ten. Ten. That's a ten second violation. <laughs> <laughs> She wasn't going to call it. We, no, she wasn't. We didn't tell her. We helped her. That, <laughs> no, that's a 10-second violation. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She's looking at us real hard. <laughs> get, on, get on one knee. <laughs> that was a 10-second violation. I had to pull her coattail on. You're running by here. I heard you. You'll get arrested uh, before I do. I know. I'm the home guy. <laughs> 34 to 15. A minute and four seconds remaining. 34 to 15. Cross that timeline. Back to Tally. Tally, right side of the floor. Back to Diamond Falls. Inside the far, far shot is up, off the line. Rebound by Peyton and the crew. 36 to 15, 30 seconds, less than 30 seconds remaining. Maybe 25 now. 24, 23. Playground Adams up top, off line. Into the hand. Up coming. Covington across the timeline, going up strong, misses it. Shot is up by Mitchell, that's a miss. And Covington for two. Jackson State taking the out of their hole. Three rebounds. Leave it off until halftime, after halftime. All right, Texas Southern. Trailing Jackson State 38 to 15. We'll be right back. This is Texas Southern. Lady Tiger basketball. Welcome to Ascent Emergency Medical Center. Open 24 hours a day, seven days a week to treat adults and kids. A board certified emergency medicine physician will see you quickly after your arrival. With our state of the art equipment and on site certified lab, Ascent ER quickly detects medical problems in adults, kids, and pregnant women. Be treated quickly at Ascent Emergency Medical Center, located at Holcomb and Almeida.
I'm Carlos Correa. I'm Slump Out. I'm Slump Thug. I recovered from COVID-19. Protect yourself and protect your loved ones and mask up. I want to encourage everybody to be a team player and mask up. Mask up like a champ to protect yourself and everyone else. As we reopen our city, it's important that we do it safely. Continue to wear your mask in public. Wear it like an all-star. Wear it like a champ. Wear it like a boss. Remember, we're all in this together. Mask up, Houston. My check, my check, my check. Can you check yours real quick, chat about? Check your mic real quick. One, two, one, two, mic test, one, two. My check, my check, my check. That's good? All right, we good. All right, put the mute back on.
Welcome to Ascent Emergency Medical Center. Open 24 hours a day, seven days a week to treat adults and kids. A board certified emergency medicine physician will see you quickly after your arrival. With our state-of-the-art equipment and on-site certified lab, Ascent ER quickly detects medical problems in adults, kids, and pregnant women. Be treated quickly at Ascent Emergency Medical Center, located at Holcomb and Almeida. I got recovered from COVID-19. Protect yourself and protect your loved ones and mask up. I want to encourage everybody to be a team player and mask up. Mask up like a champ to protect yourself and everyone else. As we reopen our city, it's important that we do it safely. Continue to wear your mask in public. Wear it like an all-star. Wear it like a champ. Wear it like a boss. Remember, we're all in this together. Mask up, Houston. I'm not the type to say any of this mushy garbage. You know what? I'm going for it. You are completely and utterly... Awesome. I'm glad you showed up. In my life. I think I'm about to cry. You better not. Every single time I... Get down! You always have... My back. My back. It's really hard to describe. It's like all these tiny little things. Yes, yes, things. Are actually friendship. Hello Tiger Nation, this is Kevin Granger. I would like to personally invite you to come out and join the newly established TSU Athletic Directors Legends Club. Members of the TSU AD Legends Club will receive TSU Athletic Apparel, a championship ring from a select sport when applicable. Season tickets for football, basketball, and the TSU relays. Special recognition at a home athletic event and much more. To join or for more information, visit tsusports.com or call 713-313-4355. And as always, go Tiger!
He is none other than Quateria Limbrick with six points and Brittany Gabriel with four. Texas Southern trailing 38 to 15. Let's hope we can put it together and get back into this game. One possession at a time. Orquez with the basketball. Back to Hambrick. White for three. Off line. Lewis hustles. Back to Borquez. Gets it. Shot by Borquez for two. Great hustle by Ryan Lewis. 38 to 17. Still dribbling that basketball. Back to Tally. Tally. Dribbling. To Rogan. Shot it up. That's a two for Williams. She's smiling going down the 19 court. 19 points, yeah. If you scored 19 points, you would too. White lets it go and it's stuck. Tiger Vance, uh, Mr. Adams is going to go up. And <laughs> got a basketball wedgie. I can still do it. I know it. I can still do it, even in my church shoes. I know it, man. <laughs> Oh boy, never a dull moment with you. <laughs> Pride of Provine High School. Came to Texas up. The Mighty Rams. That's right. Right side of the floor. Randy Bolden was there too, didn't he? He went to Forest Hill. Okay. Forest Hill. Who was Hill. with the Provine? Theon Dotson. Okay. Goffrey Thompson that played at Jackson State, led the nation in block shots. Ryan Lothridge, Lindsey Hunter, all those guys. Williams upstairs, and the shot is blocked, but Lewis is charged with the foul. Second foul for Lewis. That'll be the first team foul coming out of the gate. 40 to 17. 40 to 17. I think Garnett Foster went. He did. Garnett Foster was in the band. Played the Tritones. Yeah. Yep. Came down here and got on the... Drum line, funk train. Funk train, exactly. Hey, black sheep, if you're listening, hello to you and your, you and your lovely wife. Haven't seen you guys in a while. Right side of the floor, Limbrick with the basketball. Limbrick, back to Hambrick. Hambrick to Limbrick. Limbrick, fadeaway jumper, give it to her. Nice, very nice. Eight points for Limbrick. Forty-two to nineteen. Williams with the basketball. Shot it up by Williams. Offline. Great job by Ryan Lewis. Limbrick going inside with the left hand. No foul. Oh my goodness! That was supposed to be a foul. And a double dribble. Got to be charged. And a great charge by Borquez as she took the charge. That's lucky. That's the first personal foul, first team foul. 42 to 19, seven minutes and 50 seconds remaining. In the third quarter. Left side of the floor. Back to Adams. Adams inside the borough quiz. And a traveling violation is called. Texas Southern trailing 42 to 19. Players out due to injury. Taya Bridges is out. Lauren Lewis is out. No Naya Mitchell. And Ashley Williams goes up to shoot. And a foul is called. You know, Lewis had done a really good job fronting her. Only thing she didn't do well was she fouled her. In that, in that type of situation, you just let them go on and shoot the basketball. I mean, you play good position defense. If they make it, they make it. That's the third foul on Lewis.
Texas Southern trailing 43 to 19. Williams, both free throws. Money, 44. Adams, they lose the basketball. Shot is up. Limburg with a block, another Spalding sandwich. Hamburg with it now, chases it down. Hamburg to the 10 and a foul is called. You see the intensity starting to pick up just a bit with Limbrick. I really like Limbrick, and I can't wait to see her and Taya Bridges on the court at the same time. Yes. Because this is going to happen eventually. Yeah, well, they worked well against Prairie View. Limbrick didn't play. Hamburg. Okay, I'm sorry. I got you. Forty-four to nineteen. With six minutes and fifty-four seconds remaining, Hamburg misses the first free throw. Hamburg, seventy-one percent. Free throws good. So we're looking at forty-four to twenty. Cutting into this lead like a dull butter knife, slowly but surely. And Sherelle Sh Jones will have a seat. And Brittany Gable will go to the scorer's table. Malvo Tally with the basketball. Stolen by Lewis. And it's knocked away by Peyton. Great steal by Ryan Lewis. Forty-four to twenty. Lewis is coming out. Great effort. Six minutes and forty-eight seconds remaining in the third quarter. Royal Quest with the basketball. Royal Quest dribbling that basketball. She falls. Back to Hambrick. Back to Limbrick. Limbrick dribbling. Limbrick shot is up. And a foul is called. Give that foul to Luckett. That's her second one. 44 to 20. Don't forget following the basketball game. We encourage you to tune into the vibe powered by KTSU. Want to say hello to Tamara, the Tiger. Giving you the absolute Tiger truth, no doubt about it. 44 to 20, and that's the bottom line. Lucky with the basketball. I got to be honest with you, if we had Bridges and then we had Mitchell, this would be a totally different ball game. Oh, yeah, absolutely. 44 to 20, but these Lady Tigers are giving it their all, but... This is a very vaunted Jackson State women's basketball team. And their record shows it. And they're a very seasoned group. They are. A lot of juniors and seniors on this roster. Limbrick with the basketball. Loses her. Woo! My gosh. Adams with the basketball. Inside to Gable for two. That was, that was their best offensive set so far. Very nice. 44 to 22. Five minutes and change remaining. Come on, Lady Tigers. Give us some more of that Tiger power. Put your hands on the radio, Tiger fans. We need some Tiger power. Back to Luckett. Luckett. Inside the Womack, barreling through. Eight seconds. Turnover time, and the Lady Tigers in a great defensive stance here. Forty-four to twenty-two. Keep fighting, Lady Tigers. Keep fighting. You're trying your best. Forty-four to twenty-two. Five minutes remaining in the third quarter. Warquez with the basketball, dribbling with the right hand. Warquez still dribbling. Back to Limbrick. Limbrick. Top of the key. Limbrick sees something. Slicing, dicing, inside. 
to Adams for the finish upstairs. And Jackson State will have the basketball. And let's play down Adams. She knows she's got the hook. No, she's getting the hook. Kind of know it, you know? Yeah. Got to feel it. Make a bad play. He coming out, so it's, uh, they know it. Just go and regroup and get ready for another possession. Head coach, former head coach, Janetta Hayes Perry, Houston native, Sterling Raider. Rice Howell. She's got her hands on the radio. Yeah, I told him that too. Got to put their hands on it, baby. 44 to 22. And give that foul to Tamara White. Media timeout on the floor. Guess what? We'll take one too. Texas Southern trailing by just a few. 44 to 22. We'll be right back. With four minutes and 49 seconds remaining in the third quarter, this is Lady Tiger Basketball. I'm not the type to say any of this mushy garbage. You know what? I'm going for it. You are completely and utterly awesome. I'm glad you showed up. In my life. I think I'm about to cry. You better not. Every single time I... Get down! You always have... My back. My back. It's really hard to describe. It's like all these tiny little things. Yes, yes, things. Are actually friendship. All right, Tiger up. Hello, Tiger Nation. Welcome back. Gabriel with the basketball, dribbling it. Back to Limbrick. Limbrick to White. Hamburg with the basketball. Back to Ball Quiz. 44 to 22. Limbrick with the basketball. Oh, my goodness. Hamburg loses it. Inside, the miss, rebound by Womack, can't get it to go down, and the shot is up by Peyton for two. They're just beating us on the boards almost every time down. You know, every time they shoot the ball, they get like three offensive rebounds per possession. Limbrick for three, off line. Hamburg can't grab it, Limbrick with it again, from the elbow, off line. Covington with the basketball. Very crafty. Shot is up by Peyton for two. <laughs> 48 to 22. Three minutes. Remaining in this one. Shot is up. Offline. Borquez with the rebound and the foul. 48 to 22. Three minutes and 27 seconds remaining in the third quarter. New Lady Tigers on the floor. Adams on the floor along with Demetrius Lewis. D. Lewis. Forty-eight to twenty-two. Right side of the floor. 
Cross court, cross court pass from Adams to White. Back to Limbrick. Limbrick to White. Maybe Jackson stayed in that zone. Limbrick for three. Offline. Going the other way. Forty-eight to twenty-two. Lady Tigers down by just a few. Two minutes and change remaining. Bowler with the basketball. Nip and tuck all the way. Shot is up by Peyton. Offline. Womack with a rebound. Bowler full steam ahead. It's a tie-up, and Texas Southern has the basketball. Well, that was good defense by the Lady Tigers. I thought it was going to be an easy two points for the Jackson State Tigers, but we came away with a loose ball with a tie-up. 48 to 22, two minutes and 23 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Limbrick with the basketball. Limbrick back to White. White dribbling that basketball. Back to Limbrick, top of the key. Right to left on your radio dial. Lewis with the basketball now. Lewis inside, bad pass. Threw it in the traffic. 48 to 22, two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Cross court pass, three point attempt by Rogan. Offline, Womack, rebound. And a traveling violation is called on Bowler. You know what, I gotta tell you something. Jackson State is all over the boards like they just Got to have it. Like Ed O.G. and the Bulldogs. Remember that song? Yeah, yeah. I got to have it. And that's what Jackson State's mindset is right now. Inside the sky green. Adams for three. Doesn't go. They got to get Lady Tigers. Got to get mean. And they got to get nasty down there. 48 to 22. A minute and 22 seconds and counting down. Shot is up, off line. Womack with the two. Jackson State very physical. Very physical, but they're on that glass. It reminds me of, we have this drill called three-man weave rebounding drill. And you just keep the ball on the glass. Rotate, slide, slide, rotate. And that's what Jackson State is doing. 50 to 22. Sky Green with the basketball. Thought she was going to launch it. White with the basketball. Limbrick from downtown. Off line. Sky Green with a rebound. Back to Limbrick. Limbrick. Jump shot. Misses everything. Recovered. And they got a problem with the shot clock. Jerry Woodley. The shot clock operator. Pulled it too quick. Gary Woodley, shot clock operator. He pulled it too quick. 50 to 22. White with the basketball. Eight seconds, make it seven, six, five, four, three. Hambrick, pump fakes. Shot clock violation. And Hambrick comes up limping on that right ankle. 50 to 22. One more quarter to go. Shot is up. Lady Tigers got to get it together in the three-pointer by Rogan. White using that free arm. White in trouble, and that's the end of the third quarter. Fourth quarter action coming up. Texas Southern trailing 53 to 22, down by just a few. This is still anybody's game. We'll be right back. This is Lady Tiger basketball. Hello 
Tiger Nation. This is Kevin Granger. I would like to personally invite you to come out and join the newly established TSU Athletic Directors Legends Club. Members of the TSU AD Legends Club will receive TSU Athletic Apparel, a championship ring from a select sport when applicable, season tickets for football, basketball, and the TSU Relays. Special recognition at a home athletic event and much more. To join or for more information, visit tsusports.com or call 713-313-4355. And as always, Go Tiger! Tiger Nation, welcome back. Texas Southern trailing 53 to 22. Hamburg with the basketball. Hamburg back to Borroquez. Borroquez with it. Cross court pass back to Lewis. Hamburg for the three ball. Yahtzee! There we go. 53 to 25. Juice, Kevin Adams, out the chatterbox, hey, a fourth quarter. Here we go, shot it up by Bola for two. Wow. Yeah. It's amazing. Uh, the rebound disparity is 50 to 17. 50 to 17. Right side of the floor, 55 to 25. Sky Green, and right into the hands of Cynthia Cooper. Great pass to the head coach. Yeah, it's been one of those games. Yep. We got to get it together because we got to hit the road and go to Pine Bluff and Valley State. 55 to 25 with eight minutes and change remaining. Shot is up. We just got to get healthy. And that, I think that's our right. biggest, biggest concern. Taya Bridges comes back. Not sure about Naya Mitchell, but Taya Bridges does so, does so much for this basketball team. She helps create. She helps rebound. She helps steal. She causes havoc. Man, you just don't know how much you miss somebody until they're not there. The other thing she does, she creates for her teammates because everyone is so worried about her and trying to double her. Then the other... Uh, other team has a wide open for nice, easy jump shots, go to the basket, make layups, things of that nature. But without her on the floor, uh, we've seen it for the last three games. They just really key on our uh, ball handlers. Texas Southern 57, I mean, Jackson State 57, Texas Southern 25. Eight minutes and change remaining. Ball quarter to the basketball, back to Lewis. She's, she's been quiet today, too. Mm. Ball quarter's with it inside the sky. Green for the two. Four points for Sky Green. 57 to 27. Eight minutes remaining. Nip and tuck. Back to Rogan. Rogan for the, for the two. And they're putting on a clinic. Yep, they are. They 59 are. to 27. Back to Borroquez. Back to Lewis. Demetrius Lewis with the basketball. Three point attempt by Hambrick. Yahtzee! 59 to 30. Bowler with the basketball. Bowler, short jumper. Offline. Borrow Quest helps out. 
Cheryl Jones goes up top and she's fouled. So that was a jump ball. That's what they call. That's great. Ryan Lewis has three fouls. But again, Bowler shot the ball from the right side. Went and got her own rebound. Shot is up by Covington. 61 to 30. What'd you say about Bowler? I was just saying she shot the ball on one side of the basket. Went and got her own rebound. Put back and missed it. No blockout again for the Tigers. Inside. Borquez going to the lane. Offline. Lewis can't grab it, and you grab her from behind. Why'd you put your hands on her? She already had the rebound. Oh, young Lewis. Ah, she's giving great effort tonight, but I don't see the strategy for that. Yeah, she lost her balance, what happened. Yeah, she lost her balance. Count that three. The Rogan is heating up. Yep. Back to Borquez to the basketball. Back to Lewis. Lewis Hambrick pulls it offline. Green can't grab it. She tumbles to the floor again. Sixty-four to thirty. Jackson stayed with the lead. Exactly. <laughs> Ron uncut. Sixty-four to thirty. Green with the basketball. Six minutes and James inside. There's the move. Green grabs it. Texas Southern trailing 64 to 30. Demetrius Lewis inside. Shot is up. Shot clock violation. Oh my goodness. Texas Southern will have it. What a great effort by Hambrick. Yeah. Thought she might have let that one play on. Could have got an easy layup on that. Boraquez. Lewis finally runs it down, 64 to 30. Ryan Lewis playing with four fouls. Let's hope she can go all the way with it. And help out the team get closer. Amber with the basketball, back to Green. Green almost pulled it, but Ashley Reed was waiting to give it to her. Just sent it right back to her. Shot is up by Borquez. Off line, rebound by Ashley Williams. Rogan with the basketball. Rogan. Knifing inside for two. Sixty-six to thirty. With five minutes and twenty-one seconds remaining in the game. Borquez upstairs. And one. It's a good move. It's good to see that she's still playing. You know, a lot of times in these types of games. <laughs> score gets out of hand and they somewhat quit on you but they're still right. playing and that's a plus for sure playing very hard sixty six to thirty two is your score Basketball stolen by Green. Oh boy. 
66 to 33. 66 to 33. Timeout taken on the floor. Welcome to Ascent Emergency Medical Center. Open 24 hours a day, seven days a week to treat adults and kids. A board certified emergency medicine physician will see you quickly after your arrival. With our state of the art equipment and on site certified lab, Ascent ER quickly detects medical problems in adults, kids, and pregnant women. Be treated quickly at Ascent Emergency Medical Center, located at Holcomb and Almeida. I'm not the type to say any of this mushy garbage. You know what? I'm going for it. You are completely and utterly awesome. I'm glad you showed up. In my life. I think I'm about to cry. You better not. Every single time I get down. You always have my back. My back. It's really hard to describe. It's like all these tiny little things. Yes, yes, things are actually. Tiger up. Hello, Tiger Nation. Welcome back. Texas Southern 66, Grambling, excuse me, Texas Southern trailing 66 to 33 to Jackson State. And Hambrick launches one from downtown. Right side of the floor, Jackson State 66, Texas Southern 36. Another, another rebound. You know, though, with four minutes to go, I know we're down by 30 points, but a lot of times when coaches, when they're, you know, losses like this, they really try to see what their players can do in the last four minutes of the ball game. They'll be working on a lot of different strategies, trying to run some different plays, some different sets, and just really kind of get a feel as they get ready to travel for the weekend. 66 to 36, four minutes remaining in the contest. Got a final in Alcorn, Alcorn State 82, UAPB 48. First year head coach at Alcorn, getting it done for the women. Amber to the 10, offline. Rebound by Jones. 66 to 36. Back to Luckett. Luckett dribbling that basketball. Thought it was a travel. Mitchell with a basketball. Jones going to the 10. She just threw it up there. With her eyes closed. A prayer. <laughs> Sixty-six to thirty-six. Jones misses the first one. Three minutes and 54 seconds remaining in this one. Offline misses both of them. Borquez with the basketball. Borquez on the push. 
Four quits, three point attempt. Yatse by Hambrick. Now, this is what we might need. Get ready to head into a hostile environment on the road. This is great. Yeah. That was my comments earlier. It was when it was four minutes and 20 seconds ago. I was saying that uh, a lot of times in blowout games like this, what the coach is really trying to do is trying to. I'm not the type to say any of this mushy garbage. You know what? I'm going for it. You are completely and utterly awesome. I'm glad you showed up. In my life. I think I'm about to cry. You better not. Every single time I get down. You always have my back. My back. It's really hard to describe. It's like all these tiny little things. Yes, yes, things. Are actually friendship. Tiger up. Welcome back to the HP Arena, Robert Moreland Court, 66 to 39. Lady Tigers trailing, 66 to 39. Three minutes and change remaining in the game. Shot it up by Mitchell. It's a brick. Rebounded and pushed down. Rebounded by number 32. That's Jasmine Edward, the freshman out of Westland, Wisconsin. Sixty-six to thirty-nine. Jackson State putting the reserves in. Legenius Johnson, the freshman out of Weir, Mississippi. Guy Green, back to Borroquia. Hamburg with it. Inside the Green, loses it. She took that, put that basketball to the land of far, far away. And it seems like when she puts it down that low on the ground, that's far, far away from where she needs it to be in her hands, high above her head to try to make something happen. What we call a post player's cardinal rule. You never bring the ball down. 10 second violation. Great job by the Lady Tigers. 10 second violation as the Lady Tigers force Jackson State. Great job. Keep working. I got a special Tiger Stripes coming up. Pull it out of the bag. I'm trying to work it. Jackson State on the defensive side. Ball quest for three. Texas Southern trailing 66 to 42. Right side of the floor. Shot is up, offline. Texas Southern trailing Jackson State, 66 to 42.
Offline. Sixty-seven to forty-two. Right side, back to Hamburg. Hamburg upstairs, foul. Sixty-seven to forty-two. Would like to say hello to one of the most beloved academic advisors the athletic to me, the athletic department has ever had, and that's Miss Yvette Scales. And she's listening to the broadcast. Great person. Dynamic. Sixty-seven to forty-four. Told her story. I almost didn't come to TSU. <laughs> She did not want to come to college. Man, that was a great story. It was. The scales is very fiery too, though. Right. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> don't let the smile fool you. Really? <laughs> oh yeah. She didn't play. You get to acting up in them in those classes, not doing your work. Uh, she have a few words for you. So how would she know you acting up in the class? Well, she was advisor, so they would tell her. Oh, okay. She would try to come to the rescue. Yeah. Girl, this is what he's doing. <laughs> they would talk by the Coke machine. Girl, yes. this is what he's doing. Mm -hmm. 68 to 44. Knees bent. Offline. 68 to 44. Another interview I'm chasing down. Just to give you guys a preview. Irvin Bussy Taylor. Man, I'm pulling out the heavy hitters, man. I got Russell for you, too. Oh, great, man. 68 to 44. A minute and five seconds in the, left in the game. Hamburg with it. Shot is up. Check the seven. Give that foul on Hamburg. That's a fourth one. 54 seconds remaining in the game. Here dribbling. Mitchell with the basketball across the timeline. Fourteen minutes. Make it twelve now. Shot is up by Edwards, offline. Green can't handle it. And Jackson State will have the basketball. Sixty-eight to forty-four. With thir twelve minutes remaining in the game. 12 seconds remaining. Make it seven now. Six, five, four, three, two, one. The victory music will have to wait another game. Lady Tigers fall 68 to 44. We'll be right back with closing comments. Live from the HP Arena. Lady Tigers fall to Jackson State. 68 to 44. This is Lady Tiger basketball.
We know the stats. Uh -uh, not yet. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you. Tiger up. Hello, Tiger Nation. Welcome back to the HP Arena, a very quiet one. As the fans that were allowed to come into the game file out, file out of, of the arena and into their cars. Texas Southern Falls 68 to 44. Not we had we lost the rebounding battle 59 to 24. You gotta give it to Jackson State. They played some big time basketball tonight. They lived, they were on the basketball like a wolf on a stake. They were relentless in what they were doing on tonight, especially on the rebounding side. Yeah, well, you know, they dominated the boards, as you said before, second, third chance, fourth chance points, fifth chance points. I mean, you can just call it tonight. They really controlled the tempo of the game. Uh, I thought their guard play was exceptional. Uh, for our Lady Tigers, though, we just really we got to get healthy. That that's the biggest thing for us. I mean, when you lose your top two players, uh, they're not out there. It just changes the whole dynamic of what you're trying to do, the product that you put on the floor. So, uh, as we move forward to get ready for the road, hopefully those uh, bridges will be back soon, and uh, we can get back to playing Tiger basketball. And the next time we hit the floor will be Saturday, January the 23rd at 2 p.m. We'll travel to Pine Bluff, Arkansas, the big city, and we'll take on those Golden Lions of UAPB. And I hope Ataya Bridges will be on that bus because we're going to need her. And I really, to be honest with you, she gives the rest of the Lady Tigers confidence to play this game. I saw this team I saw tonight and I saw on Saturday. This was not the team that we saw in Prairie View. No, not at all. Not at all. It, you know, she's the... I would say the best player on the team right now because she handles the ball. She creates for others. Uh, she can hit the three-pointer. She's so scrappy on the defensive end. And so what happens is when the opponents are keying in on her, she opens it up so much for her other teammates. And without her on the floor, you don't, you don't have that, that person that can set up that point guard that can really lead the team. And that's what we're missing right now. Well, Tiara Hambrook came on. She scored 12 points. But in the words of Denise Williams, too much, too little, too late. Uh, 12 points. Three rebounds in 30 minutes of play. Not a, not your Hambrick night because she had a great night in Prairie View. Dropped 20 in PV. And it's good to see her jumper coming back now towards the end of the game. So maybe she'll have some left and put them on the bus. And she can unload some of those threes down in Pine Bluff. Well, I think a, a change of scenery might be good for the Lady Tigers. Um, you get on the road, you get away from um, the, the, the routine things that you do every day. And on the road, is, you know, it's just you and basketball. And so hopefully they can get down there and get some practice in, get some one-on-one -on -one time and shoot around. It's nothing more when you're going through a slump or you're not making a lot of shots to get some one-on-one -on -one time in the gym by yourself, just to shoot by yourself, work on your ball handling, those types of things. So looking forward for the Tigers to regroup and get back out on the road and, and get some wins. Got to give it to Jackson State. They didn't cheat us as they usually do. They didn't uh, unplug the clock or unplug me. This is some of the stuff that I go through on the road. They didn't uh, they have, a, have a Jackson State Blue Bengal bite my Wi-Fi cable. Uh, and I remember one guy came. He was sitting next to me. I think his guy's name was Slick or something. He had it on his cap. Took my extension card. Man, I didn't know this guy. Then... You know, later on, he come back and say, man, you want to buy an extension card? <laughs> He's no, trying to I'm sell just it. <laughs> but hats off to Jackson State as they came away with a win, 68-47 to 47, on behalf of our president, Kenneth Hewitt, distinguished board of regents, faculty, staff, students, and alumni from Melinda Spaulding, our vice president of, of academic advancement from our and the rest of her wonderful staff, from Mr. Ernest Walker, the general manager at KTSU, and the rest of the staff, along with the 
Master Yoda, the Reverend Charles Hudson. Great job today with the MLK Day speech and also my ever steady student. He's the number one Green Bay Packer fan in, in Texas right now. He's one of <laughs> Tramel Jeffers. He's, he's Green back Bay. at the board. I know he's grinning. He's got his braces off. So he's, you know, uh, you know he's ready. He's got some swag. He's got some swag. So he's back at the Tiger Studios. Thank you so much, young man, for all you've done. Can you believe he's a senior? I can't. I can't. Up, right. I remember when he came, he was a freshman. Yeah, he is. And it's, everything just moves so fast. That's the juice. Kevin Adams. I'm Larry the Chatterbox Hill saying good night from the spacious HP Arena. From the Victory Champagne, I'll take a sip, not a swallow. But when the Texas Southern Lady Tigers win, I'll drink the whole dog gone bottle. But tonight, it will be on hold. But we'll roll the Pine Bluff with it. And hopefully, we can have a taste of the Victory Champagne in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Thanks to everyone who gave us time out from your busy afternoon listening on your smartphones and listening to us on the old school terrestrial radio. Don't forget KTSUradio.com. Don't forget TSUsports.com is the number one website for Texas Southern Athletics. Until next time, Tiger fans, go Tiger!